It's not a surprise, we put the meat down for mum, but before we could let mum through, the cubs just started chewing on it. Just four weeks of age, it's uh, incredible really. There's another, there's another one moving in for a lick. And four weeks of age, it's quite a good sign. They'll start growing even faster now. It'll be interesting to see what the weight is next time we handle them. At six weeks old, the mum and cubs are all given a clean bill of health. It's a critical age, and the cubs will soon be allowed outside. However, before that can happen, they need to be vaccinated and microchipped. Right, let's do it. Hello, you little tinker. Oh. Let me just set this first, Bob. OK. Hello. OK, we're ready. Six point A. And is that which is that a male or a female? Little girl, I believe. Give a check. Yep, little girl. Okay. That means we've doubled in weight in two weeks. I'm just gonna place a microchip in. This will basically just give them each a, an ID. Um, so when we do weigh them in future we'll be able to identify which one's which. And this is just like the worst injection ever. <laughs> She's taken my time. <laughs> I hate giving that because it's always such a huge needle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bit of spray. Yeah. We've just put some spray on their tummies just so we can identify them from, from the ones that we've already done because we don't want to have to inject them or microchip them again. They've doubled in weight in just two weeks. Like fat as dumplings. And they really are one of the most significant births yeah. we've ever had in 35 years of the park's existence. They've got huge claws. Um, the size of their feet already at this age, the, you know, they're just going to be huge animals. We are strictly hands-off. You know, when we have to treat them, we have to go in and handle them. That's a statement of the obvious, really. But I don't believe in handling them unnecessarily. It gives people the wrong impression. At the end of the day, they are lions, and lions kill things. So they look cute and cuddly, but uh, a month's time, if they want to go that way, or want to go that way, they're going to win the argument hands down. There is a commercial side of this. I mean, uh, we're a nation of cat and dog lovers, and you won't get a cat better than this. So I'm sure it's going to be a huge crowd puller. But from the animal point of view as well, it's going to be wonderful having a family of these running around outside. They really are looking like little lions now, aren't they? Look, inquisitive. Cheeky. <laughs> Full of beans. The other three adults have had the reserve all to themselves, but that's about to change. Now they've had their vaccinations, the cubs will soon be joining them. But first, there's the issue of names to resolve. We've named the little one Toto, because it's um, Swahili for little, so, and she's the little runt of the litter and she's a bit scruffy. Um, and then the big female's Kiara, the middle one's Lara, and the little male's Casper to the ghost. So it's nice. We don't get to do it very often, because most of the time now they do tend to do it by competition and they come up with the most awful names ever. So we thought we'd uh, get in there as quick as possible. Um, I don't know if we've really mentioned it to Bob yet. I don't really worry too much about names. I'll leave it to the girls. They usually come up with something completely starved and soppy and usually totally irrelevant. <laughs> and, uh, I'll leave it to them. So you've, you've never named a lion Bob? No, I hope not anyway. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. <laughs> Bob the lion. lion. <laughs> Going outside is a big step that needs to be taken in small stages. Initially, Mum, Marin and her cubs will be let into the nursery paddock, so if anything scares them, they know how to get back to the safety of their pen. I didn't expect them to come running straight out. They're coming out very cautiously. It's Casper coming out first, which um, he's a bit of a mummy's boy, so I'm not really too surprised. And then there's the little scruffy one. Lara's come out, but it's the two big independent girls that are stay at the back a bit, do what they want to do when they want to do. Mum's pretty steady though, she, she's just standing there having a long hard look and a sniff. And, uh, it's been a long time inside for her. It has, yeah. But she's she, in marvellous condition, isn't she? I'm quite made... relieved to be out. Yeah. You what? would never know she'd read four cubs though, would you? You look wouldn't, not looking at her. Oh, she looks amazing. She's bowled the pounds on, not lost them. 
because she's got to get used to it again. It's been a long time since she's been out. Um, so the Cubs really should just follow a lead. If she doesn't panic, they won't either. Sniffing at everything. Everything looks different. Everything smells different. There's one there chewing a big chunk of grass. Look, I don't know what it is. Fortunately, spitting it out again. It's not eating it. One of the big girls just picked up a big chunk and is playing with it because they've never seen it before. It's a bit of a novelty for them, I think. It's gone very well. You know, when they start panicking or running up fences or barging into things, you worry, but they, they've got mum's temperament, I think. They're very laid back. The main white lion reserve covers two acres, a daunting area for small cubs. But after a week in the nursery paddock, they're ready for the biggest adventure of their lives so far. Mum's gone out to check everything's safe, I think. She's going around the outside of the fence and the cubs are just sitting in the hatchway looking at the ground that they've never seen before. But I think they'll get the hang of it. One's come out now. Funnily enough, it's the one that usually keeps well back. She's, she's always the reticent one, but uh, she's come out first this time. It's, uh, perhaps she is going to be the biggest and boldest of them all. And when they're fully confident... We'll, um, we'll let the public in when we open. At the moment, no one has got a, any idea at all what what we got here. They're having a good run round. Mum's doing her usual marvellous job, as if she's just slowly but surely introducing them to it all. And uh, they followed, getting more confident by the minute. It's been a long time she's, since she's been out here, and she deserves it. They're having a drink now from one of the puddles. A bit startled at first when they first trod in it. and didn't quite know what it was, but once they realised it was wet, they've had a good drink. Got some rather muddy little noses doing it. But um, they're having a whale of a time. After a few days getting used to the reserve by themselves, the cubs are ready to meet the rest of the pride. The first to be introduced to them is Dad. Just hope it will all be playful. We've got the cavalry behind us, just in case anything goes wrong. Uh, we're moving with the vehicles to intercept anything that gets beyond the playful stage. There is a possibility of danger, um, as there is with mixing any animals. He could come out and just have a go at them straight away, and if he does the size of him compared to the size of them, he could kill them. We don't really think he's going to, because he's a big soppy boy. But we've got to all be in here just to be on the safe side, just in case. So if anything does happen, we can get in there immediately and split him up. Just lifting the hatchet now for Rolo to come out. Marin's going up to her now. She's been a bit flirty. We don't want her to come back into season us and we want her to, to be mated again, but um, I think she's just missed a bit of adult company. And the cubs are a bit wary. But I'm very surprised that he's just walked past and, to be honest, he doesn't even look as if he's turned and seen them yet. Two that look like they've plucked up a bit of courage to follow him, which is quite brave, really, considering they've not really met him before and through a bit of fence. Doesn't really seem that interested in him, in all honesty. I think fatherhood's come, it's a bit of a shock to him. He's a bit surprised at what's going on around him. He's a bit of a sh slightly short temper, but I think that will, um, that will improve when it, the more he gets used to it. This is one of the reasons why we do this in easy stages. I want to play, tease and everything else, but um, he'll have to get used to this over the next week or two before we can leave them out totally unattended. You can see these cubs aren't white anymore. She's washing them, trying her hardest to keep them clean. But with all the mud and how wet it is outside, they're rapidly turning a shade of brown. A few weeks later, and Rolo is still chasing the cubs. All eight white lions are now on the reserve together. The breeding programme is going so well that Natasha has had two cubs, boosting the size of the pride to ten. Five point two two. They've put on a little bit of weight then. Not a huge amount, but a little bit. We brought them out here so we could um, just give them a bit of a check over and just to uh, weigh them. They've got fat little bellies and they're, they're looking in really good condition. 